I've from uh, the studio here. Just going to check in on Facebook on my phone, make sure that we are live, loud and clear. If you are uh, jumping on early, just let me know you're here, where you're tuning in from. I am excited about this training today. So this is a training. It's on Active Campaign. Um, I've had a lot of these trainings in my mind for a while now, and I've really needed to do them justice and go through them in depth. So tonight we're going to do an in-depth training on an abandoned cart sequence in Active Campaign, and how that works with a two-step order form in ClickFunnels. Okay. So I've got an example of this I've been using with my uh, local business, the Power Wheels Party business, and uh, we're going to jump over here to the computer here in just a second, but I just want to make sure that we are streaming live. Looks like we are. Okay. So that's a go. And I will be um, monitoring that for any questions that you may have along the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch gears over here to the uh, computer. And let's take a look at... Um, what we got here on the order form. So if you go to powerwheelsparties.com slash order, you will see that there is a, an order form. It's a two-step order form, uh, which is a very popular element in ClickFunnels. And what you have here is basically you're hiding the price. So someone wants to know how much does it cost to get a party, right? Um, they're going to have to give you a name, an email, and a phone number just to see how much these parties cost, okay? Even though I do tell them in the copy right here. Um, but what happens is, so they enter their name. So John Doe and John Doe at gmail.com. And then they enter a phone number. Okay? So right there, upon clicking, that is an action. Okay, and then they get to see the second step of the, of the two-step order form. And but what's important to note is that right there, when they have um, completed step one, that has triggered a tag in Active Campaign. Okay, so let's just take a look at where that happens. So in the back end of ClickFunnels now, uh, we have that same page. And you can see here that if I go to uh, settings and integrations, I tag them as first step of two step. That's basically saying, hey, they've completed the first step of the two step order form. Okay, so I've now tagged them in Active Campaign. Um, the thing is, is they may immediately imagine that they come through here now and they go to step two and they, and they purchase. Okay, so the tr there's actually a trick to this, which is that. Um, you don't want to fire off the abandoned cart sequence for somebody that has come through and actually purchased, right? So what happens is, is we actually start, we actually start the abandoned cart sequence. So what starts that right here? Um, so you can see that my abandoned cart sequence starts as soon as they enter the first step of the two-step. But what does it do? It actually waits for two hours, okay? Because because who's actually going to come in and uh, if, if there's a good chance that within a minute, within five minutes or ten minutes, they're going to uh, either make that purchase or not, okay? So what's happening is, is that this, this uh, sequence is starting, but it's essentially waiting to see if they get to the next step. So what's the next step? The next step is whether or not they actually purchase, make a purchase here um, of, of, of one of these parties, okay? So if they do, then they're gonna get another tag. And the, and the tag that they get is gonna be that they purchased, um, so here's the, um, Here's the here's the here's the here's the page right here, okay. And if I go to the products tab, I can see that when they purchase any one of these products, that if I go to the edit tab, I'll see that I'm going to tag them with a specific um, tag, okay. So 
it gets on the fulfillment email or the follow-up actions okay so what this does I picked active campaign as my existing integration and I'm going to add them to the list with the tag that the deposit was made for 50 for 50% 50 for one hour okay so that kicks off another automation. Let's go ahead and look at that. So whether they buy a one hour party, a one hour and a half party, or a two hour party, uh, the first thing that it does is that it exits the other, the, the abandoned cart automation. Okay, so I have these two, I have these two um, automations. I have automation one, which is abandoned. Okay. And I have automation two, which is the purchase. So when you fill out the when you fill out the first step, this thing starts going. Okay. But the first thing that it does is it waits for two hours. But if it hits, if it hits this one, so if they if they actually do purchase. The first thing that it does is X out of this automation. Okay? So then this one will come to a close and it will not follow up with them. Okay? But if it doesn't, if they don't purchase, then the two hours expires and then they proceed to, to the email that says, Hey, I noticed that you filled out this form. Uh, but uh, did you have any questions? Okay, and you can see that here. Wait for two hours, and then it notifies me, and then it sends an email, hey, what happened? Okay, so you actually trigger two automations. One is waiting. If the other one does happen, if the purchase does happen, then the first thing that it does is exit the other automation. So you have these two automations working in parallel, and that's really the trick behind um, the abandoned cart sequence uh, in the two-step order form with ClickFunnels. Now, let me know if that's helpful. And I just want to say that this training is actually sponsored by uh, this event that we're doing, a live training and interview with um, Catherine Jones. Okay. So this, uh, this Saturday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we're going to be doing a live training. She's uh, there basically be two dream car winners uh, on on the interview at the same time. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually cut over to um, some of her training, some of someone's experience with her, uh, one of her students' experience with, that she had going through some of her material. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, live training there on the abandoned cart sequence and uh, with the two-step order form. And now I'm going to cut over to just a preview of what we're going to see on uh, this Saturday live at 6 p.m. Okay, check it out. I want to tell you a story. It's a true story and it begins as all great stories begin on Facebook Messenger. It's 10, 12 a.m. on a Thursday morning and I get this message. Hey, Catherine, thanks for connecting. Now, I get a bunch of fun requests, so I'm happy to make a new internet marketing friend, but I really don't think much about it, so I just respond. Right back at ya! Then he asks about CF Design School. I respond, I appreciate his emojis, and then I actually send him a link to the webinar about CF Design School. I stalk him a little bit, and I see that he does lead generation, so I send him this message. You use ClickFunnels for your lead gen stuff? He responds and says, Funnels will be my focus moving forward, no more ads management, so now I'm just looking to take things to the next level. CF Design School is all about helping funnel builders take their skills to the next level, so I respond, oh shoot, you would love CF Design School. You'd be perfect for it. Then I said, listen, do me a favor, watch the webinar and then circle back with me, I can answer any questions you have. Then he responds, done and done. But before he leaves, he has a question. He says, does CF Design School help me build a funnel agency? I respond back, great question. No, it teaches you the skill of funnel design, but my next program, Auto Funnel Certified, helps you to do just that. But first, I make everybody go through CF Design School. Then he says, I was looking at some monthly program and was looking on the sales page on mobile and it did not look very good, this emoji. Then he hurries and responds with, not yours. Grateful they didn't think my stuff was ugly looking, but more importantly, I love that he recognizes that if you don't design a page that's optimized for your customer audience, 
they're gonna turn away. There's obviously a problem. Now, notice that I didn't say if your designs aren't pretty. I said if your designs aren't designed for your ideal customer market, okay? More on that in just a bit. But I respond, I know, we must save the world from the epidemic of ugly funnels. He comes back with, oh goodness, yes please. And seeing some people say ugly funnels convert as the offer is right, which might be true, but come on, make that bleep. Pretty at least, forget the swears. So ooh, he sends you this message and what do I see here? He has a false belief about design. He's got design all wrong. Design is not about making things look pretty. Design is about conversions and sales, okay? So I take the moment to set him straight. So here's what I say. I say, well, here's the kicker. Good design equals conversions and sales. So it's a completely subjective term. Granted, most funnels convert way better, watch the webinar, you will see the stats, if they're actually aesthetically pretty. But that's where people miss the mark. If all I did was teach you how to make a pretty funnel, who cares? Seriously, who cares if it doesn't make you money? And that's why CF Design School is so rad. It teaches you how to design for optimum conversions and sales. He responds, sweet, looking forward to the webinar. You'll be hearing from me soon. I say, can't wait. I get this message. This webinar is amazing. Hard I am. Another message, 1.25 p.m. He says, I'm sold. I'd just love to clarify a few things. Smiley face. I respond, ha ha, sure thing. Glad you liked it. What can I answer for you? He asks, is there much in there, referring to CF Design School, regarding creating cool images and graphics? I do know that they're a large part of creating nicely designed funnels, I think is what he meant to say. Isn't it? Question mark. I respond, you bet. Module four, intricate designs made easy, is all about it. We cover images, icons, backgrounds, modifying pictures, and literally so many other things. All with legit cool workarounds that don't require Photoshop or any graphic design chops. <gasps> I respond, happy that he's getting the epicness of this by saying, I'm telling you. He's still drooling. He says, unreal. I love the badge idea too. Keep people accountable. See if Design School has a badge system. So we take you step by step through learning the whole thing and then actually selling this stuff. I respond with, it's way fun. Accountable and just better to chart where you're at. Plus prizes. Who doesn't love prizes? Yes, we give away prizes when you complete each badge. Him, still freaking out. And the 10K stuff, huge. I really do need to get myself visible. I know I do. Imposter syndrome, I guess. But once I learn to create beautiful funnels from your course, I'll be more confident putting them out to the public. The 10K stuff really fast. We have a plan to get you from zero to 10K in 30 days, FYI. Me, nodding in approval saying, that's what's so awesome about CF Design School. And I said, not only does it give you the skill set to design amazing funnels, but the badges system actually guides you to overcome imposter syndrome by helping you to actually get started and make money. Then I sent him Cody Jefferson's testimonial. And I said, listen, this guy had a really similar experience. Note, this man is already making mid six figures a year, but he was leaving so much money on the table because his funnels didn't have the same quality as his product. Anyway, he redesigned everything in like three days. He just sent this to me. Justin responds with, really? I respond with, I know, nuts. I send him Cody's website. I say, check it out, design hacking. I'm telling you, it's changing the world. Justin responds with, those images, hard eye emoji, hard eye emoji. Me, I know, it's awesome, literally unreal. Six steps, dude, design hacking, exclamation mark. Okay, what other questions do you have? He asks, how active is the private group? We have a private group for everybody that joins CF Design School. I say, super, stuff going down every day. Just had somebody post this redesign. It's actually really cool, you wanna see it? He took this design and turned it into this design. It's just awesome. Justin responds, I'm sold, I'm jumping in. I just need to pick up my son from school. We're from home dad with wife and three kids, five and under here. Busy, busy. We applaud you, Justin. I respond back with, awesome, can't wait to have you. Flex emoji. Yes, join and we'll give you a big warm welcome and we'll take care of you. Welcome to the beautiful world of design hacking. Flame emoji. Sunglass emoji. Then he comes back with, I'm coming for that 10K award, believe that. I said, dude, can't wait to even send you your swag. Yes, I send you swag and cool awards if you hit 10K. He says to me, you may as well get it ready now. I respond with, haha, perfecto. See you on the inside. Then he gives this awesome running Forrest Gump emoji. It's awesome. Later that night, 503, Justin messages me. He says, let's do this. Just join this emoji, this emoji. Two of those emojis. I respond back with, welcome to the club. Justin then welcomes himself into the group. A day or so later, he makes a $500 funnel build, takes $250 up front, $250 on the back end. He finishes challenge two, which is this website recreation. He gets a little extra credit by redesigning mine. This website recreation, 
And then a few days later, I get this message, which says this. I've done $2,000 in sales since Friday. I'm sorry. Obviously I'm hype. I sent party emojis. So then super nice dude, he responds back and says, thank you. I'm super excited. I'm super grateful for you in CF Design School. Super grateful. So what are we learning from this exchange? Number one, be like Justin. Join CF Design School, learn design hacking, and in hardly any time at all, learn how to set yourself apart as a top funnel and website designer. And do you wanna know what's so cool? This is literally just the beginning for Justin. It's literally been less than two weeks, so we'll keep you posted on his journey. But in the meantime, go check out the design hacking webinar that everybody is freaking out about, and then come join the design hacking revolution. We'll see you on the inside. All right, so there you have it. So that's a little sneak peek. Uh, Catherine is awesome with videos. Uh, that's actually one of her modules that she has. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully you enjoyed that, and we will catch you guys this Saturday at 6 p.m. Take care. Bye.